people are actually mad that Al Heyman didn't cheat or disrespect Terrence Crawford in the negotiations. Let's talk. Straighter, yep, not yep. roundhouse yep. right hand. And that's what we've been talking about, the straight shot. Exactly. The one where he gets leverage on it. I don't want to kill Pull somebody back for a, a little bit. Seconds. Nah, I want a body on my record. Now, I want to see you fight, motherfuckers. I do. All right, I'm with you. I'm with you. As long as, as long as you're trying to fight the great, the, your, or the, the, the best competition. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to. Mary, you alive? I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we're here. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to. Mary, you alive? I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we're here. Fight the best if you ain't with the moto. Just click the link, bitch, and get buried like the rest. It ain't gonna work how you want it. These trolls already tried, too many come but don't leave. So if you hear, you gotta die. Spitting straight facts. These bitches crying cause they hate that. The LDBC's the top topic, bitch. Hate that. Be the bring the truth to these fans. So why you hate? I'ma laugh and keep counting these bands. Come to the graveyard. Click the link, get the hands. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we don't hear you. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we don't hear you. Welcome to the graveyard. So, Al Heyman was told about the $25 million hedge funds from Terrence Budrick Crawford. And his response was, why would you cap yourself? And people just blow that right out the water. They just they don't even care. Oh, oh, the hedge funds, it was 25 million, the hedge funds, who cares? It's the hedge funds. No. Deontay the Browns by my Wilder put out something, gems that people are not listening to, all right? And this is towards Errol Spence. Don't accept what someone just offers you unless you know the full number. Now, now Deontay didn't say this directly towards Errol Spence. He didn't. What he said is, listen, bro, don't be taking no fuck. Don't take what the fuck they give you. You know what I'm saying? Don't know. You, you, need to get a, you need to get a fucking guarantee. You know what I'm saying? Get you a motherfucking guarantee. If you know what they are offering. Yeah, if they say to you, Mo, if they say to you, hey, um, the network say, I got 20 million, but they only offer you three. Which is, these are Deontay's words. You leaving a whole bunch of money on the table because you're not sitting there. You're not at the table. So, when I'm speaking to Errol Spence, I'm saying, bro, whatever they offered you, you don't, unless your, your relationship with Al Heyman, if you trust a man, fine. That's fine. All right? If you trust a man. I, I don't know Al. I'm not going to say he's not trustworthy. I'm not going to disrespect that man at all. I'm not putting no jackets on that man that people ain't putting on him. Deontay Wilder rocks with him. Everybody signed directly to that man, which lets you know there's he's doing some good-ass business. If everybody wants to sign directly to him. Deontay signed directly to him. Andy Ruiz, directly to him. Giovanni Tank Davis, directly to him. Errol Spence, directly to him. You know what I'm saying? The big names are signing directly to that man. Danny Garcia. So he must be doing something right. So I ain't putting no jackets on him. But what I am saying is Deontay Wilder dropped gems. All right? If motherfuckers is offering you a bag, fine. At least know the totals. Know the totals, bro. Know the totals of the bag. All right? If, he's, if they're offering you a bag, know the totals. That way, you know if you're getting played or not. That's what Champ was pretty much saying. That's what Deontay was pretty much saying. Sit at the table. So, with Terrence Crawford sitting at the table, he knew the bag. Errol Spence didn't know the bag. Terrence Crawford knew the bag. All right? So, when Al Heyman said, 
don't put a cap. Why are you want to put a cap on yourself? He was doing the man a favor. He was doing him a favor. Let me explain. When the networks come and say how much money they're willing to give for a fight, we're going to use this generic number of $20 million. Let's just say the networks are, hey, we, say, we think this fight does $20 million. Do you believe that the networks think that's what it, it grosses total? Everybody is in to make money. Everybody. The networks probably have a meeting amongst themselves, the execs, the network execs, before they have a meeting with the fighters and the managers and the promoters. They have a meeting amongst themselves where they say the actual numbers. Yeah, if they're saying this fight does 20, then they probably believe it does 30 or 40. Yeah, we'll probably, we'll probably make about $30 million. We think this fight is worth 30. That's what we think. So then they go to the managers, the promoters, the motherfucking advisors, the fighters, whoever sitting at the table, and say, we have $20 million for this fight. Because they want to, bro, everybody is trying to make money. Everyone. Everyone is trying to make money. You're, if you're too fucking stupid to realize that, you think the, the, the networks have an unlimited bag and they just give money away and it just magically reappears? They got the money trees in their, in, in, in their cul-de-sacs fenced off. They can just give out whatever fucking money they want to. They have a mint. They just, hey, we just, hey, we, we thought it was worth 20 million. It only made five. No worries. We'll just print some more. That's not how it works. You all are the stupidest, dumbest motherfuckers on earth to believe that. No, the, net, the executives, the network execs have a meeting amongst themselves where they know the numbers, what they believe it's going to make. Then they go to the table with a number less than that so that they can ensure themselves of recouping some motherfucking money. Do you really think all these fucking fights that they're paying for, that they broke even on, or, or, or whatever the fuck? No! They lost money on some and made a shit ton on others. It's the gamble, it's the risk, which is why they have those meetings amongst themselves. The leaders' execs amongst themselves Say, damn, well, what about this one? Oh, we think that's 25 million. Okay, so we'll go to the table and say, we got 15 million for you. We got 15 million. The budget we're working on for this fight is $15 million, but we think it'll make 25. But the budget we're going on is, bro, no one's going to approve that shit. The fucking uh, Steven Espinosa has to go to motherfuckers that's going to approve that. Oh, well, listen, bro, you think the fight's worth 20, uh, $20 million? Okay. Uh, okay, I approve it. There's a director of finance, executive, a DFE or DFO, a director of finance, a director of finance officer or director of finance executive that's going to say, how much do you want for this fight, Steve? 20 million. You want 20 million for this fight. How much do you, how much do you think, how much do you think this fight is worth? Explain to me how, how much, how are we going to get our money back? How are we, the risk versus reward, how are we solidified in, the, in giving you this 20 million for this fight? Oh, well, because, you know, Errol Spencer's a draw, his average draws is roughly three, uh, 300,000 uh, pay-per-view buys. 300,000 pay-per-view buys, we're looking at roughly uh, $40 million in just pay-per-view buys, and there's tickets, to blah, 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 blah. Okay, well, that 20 million looks real easy to give. 20 million looks real easy to give if just my average, Errol Spence's average, is roughly $40 million he's bringing in. Well, bet, here's 20 million. The closer you get to what I average, the more difficult of a conversation you're going to have. The more difficult, the more me as a DFE or a DFO is going to be like, hey, man, I don't, I'm, I'm good. Nah, I, I, I don't, I'm not blessed enough on giving you that. I'm not blessed enough. Nah, I don't. Mm -mm. Yeah. But what Al Heyman did is said, why are you putting a cap on yourself? Meaning that if my average, I'm bringing in 40 million. That's my average. But the fight brings in 100 million. Well, the network gets their money back. 
And let's just say Terrence Crawford got $25 million. Let's say they gave him $25 million. The fight is $100 million. So you guys would be okay with Arrow getting 60 to $70 million. $60 million. So $60 million to $25 million. You guys are okay with that. You're okay. Because that's what he'd be leaving out there. He'd be leaving big bag out there. Big bag. If it's a 65-35 split and the fight does $150 million. $150 million. Which is not, not out of the question. Not out of the question. Do top five gates of all time and then $150 million. Floyd Mayweather versus Oscar De La Hoya did $152 million. A buck 52. So if Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford does $150, Terrence Crawford is taking $25 million. Errol Spence would get roughly $60, $65. dollars <laughs> that's, uh, that's if it does that. You understand what I'm saying? If it does that. But... If the networks are only putting up X, then you have this part of X. All right? That's that's your, your ceiling. Your peak is in there. So what you guys want, you guys want Terrence Crawford to get a guarantee and Errol to get no guarantee just to make the fight. No guarantee. When he's the draw, no guarantee. The 50-50 split is for them to have neither of them have a guarantee. Neither. Now we just get a 65-35 of what the fight generates. That's what we do. But if you put a $25 million cap on yourself, then you get nothing else after that. You put a $25 million cap, you get nothing. So if the fight does $70 million, all you're getting is $25. If the fight does $80 million, $90 million, what all you are getting is $25. That's all you're getting. And the man said, why are you putting a cap on yourself? He's been in the business long enough to know that this fight will more than likely generate more than what the networks are offering to get it started. The networks know it'll, be, it'll generate more than what they're offering to get it started. But they are in the business of making money. All right. They are in the business of risk versus reward because they're the ones putting up the money. You understand that? But people are mad that Al Heyman said, why are you putting a cap on yourself? They're mad that Al refused to cheat him. They're mad. And people out here say, oh, Al doing shitty business, doing bad business. Oh, Al Heyman's a brief, he's a problem with boxing. But you're literally upset because he refused to cheat him. He refused. He refused to put a cap on this man. He said, no, you can make more money than this. Don't cap yourself. You can make more bread. No, I, I, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna allow you to cap yourself. Because at the end of the day, that's bad business for him. Yeah, that's bad business for him. I'm not gonna allow, I am advi an advisor. I'm not gonna allow you to cap, I'm not gonna do that, bro. No, I'm not gonna do that. And people were upset about it. You're upset that Al Heyman refused to cheat this man, refused to fraud this man, kept it a buck with this man, didn't lie to this man. You guys are, you're, you're up in arms. You're shitting on Al Heyman. You don't even look at it objectively, subjectively, whatever you want to call it. You got one way and that's it. Your narrative, Al killed the fight. Oh, Al said he's not letting nobody near this. Al's not letting nobody near this. But he was letting you near it. Yeah, he was letting you near it. And if Al got all this power to stop you from fighting Errol Spence, from stop you from doing it, then you should be accepting the other things that he has because he has all this power. But the man refused to cheat you, and you're upset about it. The man said, why would you cap yourself? Why would you do this? and then refused to allow you to do it. 
and instead you dip to BLK and put a cap on yourself. Now you're about to go to uh, 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 a golden boy and put another cap on yourself. And people are mad because Al Heyman refused to put a cap on him. Al Heyman said, no, there's more money for you on the table. I'm not going to allow you to shit on yourself. Not going to allow you to do it. And Terrence Crawford got mad and went somewhere else where he can shit on himself. And he hurt himself even more. He hurt himself even more. Insane to me. Fucking insane. And you guys are sitting here condoning this. Oh, no, no, that's crazy, man. You just should have, should have, should have, should have, should have just, it's crazy. It took 25 minutes. Just, 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 I'm, I'm, bro. If, there, if the networks only came with X, which was less than 25, if that's what, whatever it was, if they came with X, they clearly could not give this man the 25 he wanted, clearly. That's blatantly obvious. They couldn't give him that. If it did, it wasn't in the budget of what the networks were putting up. But Al Heyman, the, the businessman that he is, knows the potential of these fights. And told this man, don't put a cap on yourself. $25 million cap. That's it. $25 million cap. When Deontay Wilder said, be in the room to know the numbers. If he was in the room to know the numbers and Al said, don't put a cap on yourself. That leads me to believe it might be they they might have had conversations about what the fight could potentially generate. I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying one plus one equals two. If, if they were in the same room, then doesn't Bud know the same thing Al knows? So if they talked about the potential of the fight and he put a cap on himself, then you guys should be thanking Al Heyman, not not downing him. The Bud fans should be thanking the man. Because that's what y'all, y'all always worried about the man's pockets. But Bud, Bud, Bud got to get paid, got to get paid, got to make his money, got to get paid. Well, Al saved his pockets. Didn't hinder it, he saved his pockets. If he would have signed the deal. Now, Bud hindered it himself by not signing. But Al was trying to save it. Matter of fact, Al did save his pockets. All he had to do was sign a contract as is. Knows the amount of money he would have made. Because nobody knew how much money Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather were going to make when they fought each other. Nobody knew. Nobody knew how much money Floyd Mayweather and Oscar De La Hoya was going to make. Nobody knew. Had no clue. And all these big fights, the list goes on and on and on. Nobody knew how much money was going to make until they fought. But there was no caps on Well, Floyd had a cap on his shit because he accepted as the B-side a fucking flat fee when Floyd, I mean, when Oscar didn't, but that's a whole different conversation. Bottom line is, Al Heyman was working in favor of Terrence Crawford, not against him. And you guys are upset because he was working in his favor when he told that man, why are you putting a cap on the amount of money you can make? Pathetic. Al is damned if he does and damned if he doesn't. If he would have just said, yeah, okay, sure, take this guarantee, you're not getting nothing else. Then the fight does fucking astronomical numbers. And people, oh, look at this. They, they see, they told you I lowballed Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford only got $10 million. He only got $20 million. It's crazy. Uh, Errol Spence made $80 million. Terrence Crawford got $20 million. I told you it was lowball. That just showed right there. Terrence Crawford wanted it more. That just showed. Y'all, that's what y'all motherfuckers would be saying. Insane. BFTB, shout out to the mighty, mighty LDBC, and I'm out.